Rainbow a and basketball team in their first tournament of the year didn't win a game. Lost their third straight tonight, dropping to 18th ranked DePaul by 25. Blue Demons led by Anna Martin's 22, trailed 42-30 at the half. And Chana Lake who's returned from a nagging injury, those were only two points in 11 minutes of action. Sophomore Camila Jackson, named to the all-tournament team, led with 19 points and 12 rebounds in the loss. 90-65 final, Brianna Arbuckle added 16 points and eight rebounds in the earlier game. Portland handed San Diego State their first loss, winning 59-58. Ladies host another 14 tournament with Cal, Virginia, and Texas starting on Friday. Six-ranked Rainbow Wahine volleyball team doesn't open WAC tournament play until Tuesday. They'll face the first-round winner in the Utah State-Fresno State match. Tonight, conference postseason awards were handed out. And for the third time in her career, Kanani Danielson's been named WAC Player of the Year. She's just the third Rainbow Wahine to claim those honors three times, joining Kim Willoughby and Kanoi Kamano. She also was named to the first team. Total of six Rainbow Wahine on the first team, joining Danielson, Emily Hartung for the first time in her career, Brittany Hewitt and Chantil Satelli for the second times, and first time first teamer, setter Mita Uyato. Jane Croson earned second team honors to go along with an all freshman team nod. Graves got a man wide open. That's Billy Ray Stutzman across midfield. He's a 30. Billy Ray to the 20. Tucks it back against the bank. He good. He does. I just felt the whole stadium come alive. I felt the sideline come alive, and uh, you know, I, I I felt that we we're gonna win that game after that moment. Mm -hmm. From my from my perspective, from my view of that play, that was absolutely beautiful. That 69-yard pass was the moment last night where UH took a 21-17 lead over Fresno State in their WAC finale. David Grays came off the bench to play the final three quarters after senior signal caller Shane Austin got the nod to start. Warriors sophomore QB accounted for three touchdowns, one on the ground and the other two in the air. Found a connection with senior wideout Royce Pollard for 24 yards. In the end, UH came up short 24-21. At the start of the fourth quarter, Fresno scored the final points of the game. Derek Carr's pass through the hands of John Hardy Tuliao ended up being a 43-yard touchdown to Josh Harper. Didn't detour the second-year quarterback, though. Up until the final ticks, Warriors had chances to win. You know, I felt like, here we go. Let, let, let's do this, for real. Let's do this. As soon as that happened, I had no doubts that we were going to win the game. All I started visualizing in my mind was good things happening. It's just tough that it didn't work out. I feel like there's a lot of room for improvement. We let some of it out on the field that I wish we could take back and do, do some things different, but I feel very blessed for the opportunity to get, to get out and go play again. Well, the Warriors may have found themselves a quarterback. They've got a win out to become bowl eligible. Saturday, they host 2-10 Tulane. Last night, the Rainbow Warriors basketball team dropped to 22nd ranked Gonzaga in their first road trip of the year, 73-54. Boys trailed six at the half and closed to within a point midway through the second half, but Gonzaga led by 16 points and 10 boards from Robert Sacre went on a 28-9 run the rest of the way to pull out the victory. I think we're down one with eight minutes to go and, and, and right there and feeling kind of good. We, you know, we obviously, I, I thought we turned the ball over too much to really to, to, to stay, to keep the game close. And we got away from us there in the end last five minutes. Freshman point Shaquille Stokes led the Rainbow Warriors with 17 points. Zane Johnson finished with 12. Teams back home Tuesday to host Eastern Washington. 